What's up guys, it's Daze here and I'm bringing you another commentary, this time it's on the Mavilla using the Famous and the first thing I'm going to talk about is the RC car and I'm just going to say whether I think it's a good kill streak or a bad kill streak. Uh, there's, there's a good lot of points of why the RC car is bad but there's not that many of why it's good. Uh, the main reason is simply because it's a two kill streak with Harline, three kill streak normal which is very easy to get. So if you're playing Surgeon Destroy, you can easily get a three kill streak. Then that means, uh, like I said, a two kill, uh, two kill streak with Harline. Then that means you can, you're guaranteed more or less another uh, kill. Because all you have to do is drive in the response. So you can easily get one or two kills from people camping and building and stuff like that. So I think that's one of the major flaws. And I think it's, it should either be took out of the game or it should be around a six kill streak, which I know won't happen. So. <laughs> But I'm just I'm just talking about it anyway. Uh, I also think the people that use it, uh, you are just being selfish uh, when playing team games. If you're playing something like Search and Destroy, it's a lot better uh, if you use a spy plane instead of thinking that you can just get uh, at least a one guaranteed kill with this. So why use a spy plane? Uh, in my opinion, the spy plane is probably one of the best kill streaks in the game as well as a blackbird. As you can easily get 10 kills in 30 seconds with it if you use it properly. Uh, that's in like team deathmatch and stuff. Uh, and for the people who use RC cars just to get an extra kill, use a spy plane. I can guarantee you that you'll get more than one kill with that. And you'll be helping your team out also, which in the end will pay off as you'll win a lot of games. And even though around 40 to 50% of people run Ghost, well, I'm not too sure about now, but at the beginning of the game, most of them did. So uh, it doesn't matter. The spy plane helps you get the other 50-60% and if it's a team based game like team deathmatch uh, then in most cases where you find the other 50-60% the other 40-50% will be spawned beside them so that can also mean that you're going to pick up a lot more kills as well. Uh, I'm also going to give you a, uh, give you a few tips about the, my favourite strategy for team deathmatch. Uh, enlarge the medium maps, always stay away from your teammates. Um, I'm not too sure I thought about it while I was playing this game, but that is definitely the best advice I can give you. Uh, because if you're away from your teammates, the other team will be focusing on all your teammates as they will be packed together. So you can easily flank around the side of them and pick up a lot of kills and a uh, very good kill streak in the meantime. Uh, I also want to talk about different guns for different maps. If you're playing on a map like Nuketown or Summit, which is very close quarters, Nuketown being the, uh, the smallest map in the game, Summit being particularly small. Uh, using SMG, when you can face to face with someone, an SMG will help out a lot more than an assault rifle because you can aim in the sights a lot quicker. And even with sleight of hand and sleight of, uh, sleight of hand pro one, that means it will be even better. Uh, on maps like Villa, Arena and Jungle, uh, uh, my best bet is to use uh, an assault rifle, mainly because uh, like I said, the SMG helps out if you're uh, the SMG helps out if you're going to if you're at close quarters and you're battling someone like face to face in a gun battle and if you're using an assault rifle on a huge map then you can get kills across the map whereas you can't on most occasions with the SMG as there's a lot more recoil. Uh I'm also gonna talk about the Famous and what's my favourite class to saddle it with. I'm not too sure what I'm using in this, but I think it's I'm using the farmers with dual mags. That's definitely uh, definitely my first option in all classes. Whilst I'm using the farmers because dual mags, if you don't know what that is, that's just uh, a quick a quicker first reload. So that helps out a lot. It's like sleight of hand. Only you don't need sleight of hand for the first reload. And that's just definitely what I would like that uh, what I use. The CZ75 dual weld is also very good. I thought the Pythons, uh, the dual wheeled Pythons were better, but as I've used the CZ75 dual wheels in the past week or so, they, they're definitely better, so I would highly suggest using them. Uh, mainly in all my classes, except for sniping classes and stuff, I would use a Semtax, uh, a Claymore or a Motion Sensor, and two Concussion Grenades. In all my classes, Concussion gr Grenades are definitely a must, for me anyway. Uh, I'm also, uh, my, my perks usually are either for the first perk, no it's definitely always Hardline Pro, unless I'm playing Surf and Destroy on the occasion I put on Ghost, but not much because Hardline does help out a lot considering kill streaks don't stack. Uh, my second perk would definitely have to be Sleight of Hand, 
as I always play, I always, uh, I never camp, I run in very often. As you can see here, I'm running towards people, I'm not letting them come to me. So that's, if you have sleight of hand, exactly, if you have, uh, especially if you have sleight of hand pro, you'll know, be able to kill people a lot easier. So any, um, and my third and final part is Ninja Pro, because that's just what I like better, because I use Turtle Beaches. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. It's going to come to an end. I'm leaving it a little bit late, but please like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to have more commentaries on the way and hopefully get some on my cinema soon. So expect a lot more videos. Thanks a lot.